We are going to the Water Lantern Festival. Then you will arrive at your destination. Make sure you have exact change for parking. It's $7. This is the long line for parking. So the event starts at 5.30. They want us to come before 8 because the lantern launching is at 8.30 to 9.30. Thank you. Thanks. Thank you, Stephen, for the lovely chairs. Oh, yeah. Wow, look at the geese over there. So when I was little and I used to have turtles, me and my dad released them in this pond right here. I think this is the lake where we're going to be releasing the lanterns later tonight. It's very pretty. And then look at all the people here today for the Water Lantern Festival. This is at the Whittier Narrows Recreation Area. We're going to pick up the kit that comes with the lantern, some markers, and then we can decorate that. So let's go redeem them right now. Bought them earlier on our phone, okay. Okay, thank you. They have a lot of food trucks and food vendors here. We did already eat dinner, so maybe we'll get dessert later, but I kind of feel like we should find a spot first. So here are our little wristbands. Water Lantern Festival. The lantern. Oh. Playing cards. What else? More playing cards or? Conversation cards. Yeah. Oh, they have a scavenger hunt. Interesting. Oh, well, they don't actually give you a real fire. But yeah, it's an LED. Lame. <laughs> oh, this is one of those hippie rugs. Do you see all the swarm of bugs just flying around Steven? Oh my God, so many bugs. And he put bug spray too. He's just going to wrap this around your neck or something. You're free hippie. <laughs> Anyways, let's start decorating our lanterns. We decorate on this paper lantern right here. So we just probably like that, huh? Yeah. Let me start decorating then. So this is uh, us with a money tree because you know that'd be nice. This is us on a vacation at the beach, looking at a beautiful island with a sunny day. This is me and you because you a cutie. Hey. Oh. That's a lot of bugs. But it's like coming towards us. And then this is meatloaf. This is the closest to nature you've ever been. Yeah, I'm gonna eat bugs now. It's gonna be my protein for the day. Let me talk about mine. So, love, happy marriage. It's mm -hmm. pretty important. Dollar signs. I like money. Who doesn't like money? And then my next goal is to get to 10K subscribers on YouTube. So please subscribe, YouTubers. And then this one right here is, I hope to have a happy family with you, Steven. So is that me, you? And two little Stevens. This one is a big, big house. That's my aspiration. Huh? One day to live in a big, big house. And then wishing all of my subscribers happiness and lots of smiles in life. Because, you know, you gotta be happy in life. Even though it's sad and depressing, you just gotta find stuff that makes you happy and continue to smile. This is the setup. This is the LED candle. The switch on the back. Hey, that's cute. Ooh. So adorable. I just walked over there. There's like no bugs. I think it's just a section. Wow, look at everyone with their lanterns. They are ready to set it free. All right, set sail, Stephen. My turn. Oh no, mine's getting stuck again. I can imagine when all of this is 
filled with lanterns. It's gonna be really beautiful. They release these lanterns by rounds. This is the first round at 8.30, and this goes up until 9.30 p.m. Came back from the Water Lantern Festival. What'd you think? Like I mentioned earlier, they told us to come between 5.30 and 8. We came around 7.30. The line going in wasn't too bad. The majority of the people had already... They already arrived, yeah. Mm, correct. A lot of people already set up their site and claimed a spot near the lake. We complained a lot about bugs. There were a lot. They did warn us that you should spray bug spray, which Stephen did. did do. But oh my god, you saw the swarms of... <laughs> this is so gross. We're both not nature people. I mean, I don't think anyone likes to sit while there's like swarms of bugs flying around their face. They don't care how much you love nature. That's not something that people aspire for. So I think uh, that experience, just being swarmed by bugs and everything, just made it uh, unpleasant. We just quickly let our lanterns out and then caught it a day. But the thing is, if you stayed until the end and then all the lanterns filled the lake, it would have been really pretty. Would but, we do this again or? Um... I think it once is fine. Yeah, once I with mean, experience. Visually, it looked nice. Visually, yeah. I thought they were going to give us real fire, so I'm a little disappointed that it's an LED light. I see. Because, I mean, traditionally, right, you would have an actual, like, candle, and then you'd have the lantern, but... Fire hazard. We made it. We're at the Santa Anita racetrack because today's event is the Lantern Art Expo. Oh, this is parking. This is the first time we've been here. I actually saw advertisement for this back way in June and I bought the tickets in June. Here we are now. But what's this supposed to be about? So it's lanterns, but there's different themes of lanterns. There's mm -hmm. technology lanterns like Tang Dynasty lanterns. It's like very Chinese culture, Chinese related mm -hmm. theme. But it's like art. Yeah. That's the San Anita Mall over there. And then next to it is the vent right here. Wow, this is the front entrance right here. Looks really bright. So they have a lot of, I'm sure, probably Asian Chinese dessert, you know? Yeah. Ooh, I feel like that's the Japanese dessert that I wanted to have, right? Like those super crunchy grapes or the strawberry ones. <laughs> I like at least it's not all crowded and dense. They have some claw machine stuff here. We're trying to see if they have any cinnamon ones. Ah! Wow. You know my obsession with cinnamon and fleshy. No, we do not see any cinnamon plushies, so fortunately, no. Got a Santa Claus one. Happy holidays! <laughs> We're gonna get some beef skewers. Just cooking the skewers! <laughs> No flavor. You don't think it's very good too, right? No, it's pretty bland. It's eatable slash bearable, but I'm also hungry too, so. <laughs> Let's 
just finished eating the beef skewers and I saw this potato hot dog. Like it's not Chinese, it's Korean, but I'm like craving it. Oh, that's the potato one. Eight inches of meat, huh? Yeah. It's flavorful. The sauce helps. It's good. So they gave us another because they said they made an extra one. I don't know how believable that is. All right, try the other one. It's uh, sausage and cheese. Oh. Wow. It's cheesy. That's it. Came back from the festival. Mm -hmm. So what'd you think? I would say the lights honestly aren't that yeah, I agree. Not really something that uh, is worth going. Yeah, yeah. I also felt like they should have put maybe some labels or descriptions underneath the lanterns to talk about why this lantern is culturally significant, or also, or like you know, have some like English words because you can tell their target audience is mostly mainland Chinese people because most of the people there were Chinese. Yeah, we're Chinese. In terms of food. Wise. I mean, we only had two things basically, right? The uh, skewers and the hot dog. Skewers were pretty bland. Mm. Uh, hot dogs were good, but I mean, that's the typical Korean style. It wasn't actually too busy <laughs> because at other night markets or events, usually the line for the food is mm. long. Very long. Yeah. And, and you're crowded, you're bunched up with everyone. Mm -hmm. I mean, there wasn't a lot of seating here, but... At least there were okay. open tables. Yeah, that's true. It was pretty dark. I mean, I know you might not see this in the footage, but um, it wasn't well lit. So sometimes even just looking at the booths and trying to read the menus, it's a little dark. There's not too much variety if you're hoping for non-Asian. Mm -hmm. It's pretty like authentic to the culture. Would I come back here again? Mm, probably not. It's nice for like a first time type of experience, but after you go there once, once is enough. Yeah, once is enough. The sculptures or whatever you call them, the lanterns. The lanterns. Yeah, it's, that was okay. I think like in the social media or in the photos that they... Sell it, yeah. Yeah, mm -hmm. they make it look much more mm -hmm. extravagant than in real in life. Real life mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. Okay. Goodbye. Bye. There I go making yet another mistake It's killing me to see that look on your face I'm so sorry